one of those nights where it was just like oh and when I feel really really tired in the morning um, I just you know I wear contacts and those things are a bad like I get a lot of protein in my eyes um, it, you know it's that like sticky stuff google it protein in your eyes I mean like I like glasses but I don't usually use them for looks I use them to see but these ones right here are my glasses I got this from coach I wanted the ones with the black frame but um, it kind of made me look too much of a nerd and I don't want to look like a nerd I want to look like Boy, you don't step on my grass ever I see you again I will step on your grass whether you like it or not all right so I guess let's just get on with this video so I hope you enjoy this quick little bit and um, I'll see you soon so for my face, I'm using my Holy Grail Macarel. Um, this is just my MAC NC42 and I love it because it doesn't sweat up, come off, or nothing. Um, this is really good for glasses because it does hold on very well and it doesn't smudge or anything. Then I use my favorite for now, which is my Pladio, and focus around more the nose area because that's where you have creases and stuff. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I do for my face. I don't cake it up or anything. Okie dokie. Now, usually when I wear glasses, I do less color on the eyes, just so it doesn't take away from the glasses look. Which for me, I look extra Asian. So, I start off with the primer, just so nothing will start butt creasing. Primer provides a smooth canvas for the eyeshadow, so it lasts longer. I'm using this billion year old Urban Decay palette, and this color is called Chopper. It's great for olive skin tone like my P9 self. I apply this all over my lid and you can use anything that is your skin tone too which looks a lot better and doesn't take too much from the eyes okay and then I accentuate the color by adding a pink color called shotgun it gives it a nice fade I use a rounded fluffy dome brush because it applies it lightly and not like I blend in my eyeshadow in the dark woman please do not do to the top of my eyes, I usually fade my eyeliner. So, I use a pencil and I get really close to the lash line. Then, to make the liner fluffy, I use a tapered smushing brush and only blend the edges. So the way you move the brush is kind of like flicking it, kind of like flicking a bogey. You know, you just want to use a light hand and get a nice little gentle touch around the eye area and smudge out your bottom too. If you want the wing look, use an angled brush and a gel liner. Ladies, color within the lines. If you're not good with lines, use liquid. Know what I mean, jelly bean? My fave mascara ever, my Clinique Lengthening Mascara. It gives you false leaves and a quickie. Now, you can clump as much as you want until it hits the frames of your glasses, but you want, might want to try your glasses on before you clump it too much. Girl, don't have a party with your lashes. Just enough. Just like that. Okay? And now, I want to intensify my natural lip color by using a darker shade lip liner. And the one I'm using here is a lip liner by Coastal Sense. Um, I think it's called Mauve or some crap. Yeah, I think so, my friend. And you want to do this precisely, just so it can really pop very nicely. And then now, I'm going to highlight my cheeks with a mineralized blush from MAC. This is just so my cheeks have a nice glow when the sun hits me. So, that is my makeup with glasses. I hope you try it out, and I will see you soon. Bye, babies.